in this video we will try to derive import demand and export supply curves okay so basically uh, in the international trade equilibrium okay we need to find out uh, the equilibrium uh, between uh, import demand and export supply for this we need to first uh, derive the import demand and export supply curves okay so i will take uh, this very graph let us say this is our graph on this axis we have quantity and we have price here okay this graph is the domestic demand and this denotes the domestic supply okay so when domestic demand and domestic supply intersect each other let us say they intersect at this price let us say this is p okay so this price is called autarky price okay the price at which a country does not import anything okay so at this uh, point nothing will be imported because our domestic demand is being uh, met by our domestic supply okay now uh, to derive the import demand uh, what i have done i have draw this graph on this we have price and on this axis we have the quantity imported okay so let's denote it by m here q sub superscript m now whenever uh, the price is below the autarky uh, price okay let us say we have uh, a price of p1 here okay at this price you can see our supply is less demand is more okay so this denotes our excess demand and this excess demand can obviously uh, met by the imports okay now if i translate this point this p here let us say this is p when p when the when we have order key price that means at this price we don't import anything because our demand is uh, domestically met by our supply okay so when price is a p nothing will be imported now when price is p1 i am really sorry for the external background uh, uh, noise i cannot control that very thing here okay so when we have order key price nothing will be imported okay when we have a price below the autarky price we have let us say we have p1 here okay when we have p1 price corresponding to this p1 how much we are being imported importing let us say this very stuff okay so this very stuff we are importing let us say it is a, a q1 this is q2 okay q2 minus q1 so this very gap we are importing now let us uh, translate this very distance here okay so we have this very distance translate it here so corresponding to this uh, we have this very gap okay so this much amount we will be importing okay similarly if price is p2 let us say we have price of p2 here okay corresponding to this p2 we are importing this much amount okay so this much amount we are importing let us write it here when price is p2 we are importing this very much amount okay so let's try to so this very amount we are importing so translating this distance here we have this distance okay this point now when we uh, join this we will get the import demand schedule okay and obviously you can also think it like this import a demand schedule is simply given by demand minus supply okay similarly so this was our domestic country in foreign country let us say we have uh, in another country in foreign country we have domestic demand and domestic supply we, we have quantity here we have price here okay so uh, at this point this will be the autarky price that means the price at which our uh, domestic demand is uh, equal to domestic supply okay now uh, to derive the export supply curve let us denote it by x here okay now to derive the export supply curve how do we supply uh, how, how do we uh, show it here so first we take this point p as it is write it here okay we have pre uh, p here so at this autarky price p nothing will be supplied because our supply exactly ma matches our uh, domestic demand okay 
Now, when the price is above the auto or key price, let us say we have P1 here, okay? When we have a price of P1, we have this very much supply is greater than demand. So, this denotes excess supply. And what we do with our excess supply, we just simply export that very supply, okay? So, uh, we take this distance. Okay, let's uh, first write we have P1 here. Okay, P1 here. And this is our excess supply of this uh, magnitude. Okay, so this point will be it. This will be the point. Okay, so corresponding the price P1, we are uh, we are supplying uh, this very amount. Okay, so if we have the numerical, if we have values, we can uh, easily calculate this very uh, thing here. Okay. Similarly, if price is P2, P2, we will be having like this. We have demand this thing and supply is this. So, we have excess supply again. Okay. If I translate this distance here corresponding to, let us say, this is P2. Okay. So, if I take this here and take this say very much distance, I will be like here. Okay. So, this will be our export supply schedule. Okay, or export supply curve. So, when the price is above the auto or key price, and when we join the different combinations of prices, we get the export supply schedule. Similarly, when the price is below the auto or key price, and when we join these pointers we get you know import supply schedule okay now when i join these two graphs okay so if i join these graphs i will get so on this axis uh, we have quantity on this axis we have price when i join these two so we have export this is import demand okay and this is our export supply okay this is our import demand let me write it here uh, this is import demand and this is our export supply so the enter when i join these two graphs i will get the equilibrium point here okay this will be the uh, you know a world trade equilibrium price i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you